guys welcome once again to my channel today's video i'm going to be giving you a breakdown of how i styled myself for my birthday shoots my birthday pictures are the uh, pictures that i use for the intro to my youtube video the current one the one that played before you know you started watching and i'm just going to tell you how i did it on a budget if you are in nigeria you know we are going through an economic crisis so yeah let's get into the video guys i'm trying to have breakfast so um yeah i'm going to film the video as i have my breakfast so i have toast bread here and i have my tea so the first thing that you want to do is you need to create a mood board if you do not have pinterest pinterest is what a lot of ladies use if you do not have pinterest you can just go on google and um sort of like go on to look at um pictures on google that you might want to cre recreate sort of like have a theme so for instance for me I wanted to show that I was born in the 90s and so I went online to check what was actually trending in the 90s and one of the things that stood out was the hairstyle. Hence my short razor cut hairstyle. Now obviously I had to you know look at myself look at the structure of my face and you know I had to consider if the hairstyle would fit me. Now I've worn razor cut in the past but this is you know <laughs> um it was a wig and it, it was actually really nice um but yeah i had to like look at the structure of my face and determine what style of razor cut hairstyle would fit me and um so i went on google and i checked a bunch of different ones i saved them for inspiration and um that was the first thing so i had my hairstyle sorted out now the hairstyle is sorted out how about clothes i went online i was seeing a lot of uh people who rent various types of like um clothes for birthday shoots and all of that and like i said at the beginning of this video economic economic hardship currently um so i had to ask myself okay what do i have in my wardrobe that would actually fit the hairstyle because i i made the hairstyle but i didn't know what i was going to wear and then i saw i think i don't know if it's Halle Berry or regina king i saw them with their like um low cut uh, razor cut and like a turtleneck and i said to myself hmm turtleneck razor cut and the turtleneck was like um um sometimes it would be like on sweaters or like on sleeveless turtlenecks and i remember that there was a wedding i went for sometime last year or two years ago i can't even really remember anymore um it was it's a pink you, you already you've seen the picture it's a pink uh bridal satin dress and i just visualized it and it just made sense now let me even tell you guys i actually bought fabric to make a dress that would wear for my birthday shoot and on my birthday i bought the fabric and i paid to make that dress made and in fact it was just an absolute mess the dress is okay but not worthy of like it didn't come out how i visualized it let me put it that way so i'm just glad that i took like three dresses anyway back to the story um this pink satin dress and the hairstyle fit perfectly like i was really looking like a 90s baby the hairstyle showed it the turtleneck of the dress showed it it was beautiful while i was taking the pictures i saw that the photographer had props and um so i now took some pink flowers and then you know it just it came out really beautifully so that was the first dress um the second was a, a an ashwabi i had worn i think three years ago yes that native that head um head um scarf and like the sleeveless that is an ashwabi um fabric i bought i think three years ago i attended the wedding and i was like okay 
you know bear in mind i didn't try on all of these things i was just i just had like a visual picture of how i would look like and i took i took the um the ankara i did vote like one thing about me and time scarves is anyhow as long as it fits my face even if the fabric is going this way as long as my face looks good i'm fine and so i took that one as well the man just had props for me so for my pink dress i saw pink flowers for my red dress i saw red flowers it was just absolutely everything just came into play now the third thing i wore was the dress i made for my birthday but like i said it was off it didn't give like the other two and the other two i already had in my closet for like years this one i now made now flopped imagine if that was my backup so that one didn't all the pictures i took with that one i didn't select anyone because it just didn't give the hairstyle didn't match the dress and that's one reason why when if you're trying to style yourself make sure that whatever hair you're wearing fits the dress you make okay if i was on a long like flowing um like hairstyle or maybe i had my hair put up i feel like that dress would have worked but because i was on a razor cut the thing just it didn't work <laughs> it didn't work it didn't work and um yeah so that one was out of it even the shoes i wore didn't match but for the others i didn't even wear any shoes funny enough i'll post pictures here and then the last one i wore was a suit and then uh, you know just to show some bling i never posted that picture online i'm going to post it here um i'm going to post it i'm going to post it right now that one um i was trying to give sexy but then i mean like i didn't just like the fact that my cleavage was showing so i you know sort of like covered whilst i posed and i just chose one of that one so um i would say if you're trying to save money when it comes to styling please don't be under pressure look for something in your closet like i don't think anybody was like oh you've worn that dress before oh no 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 no. all the pictures i posted were with clothes i had in my closet already um and at, in my mind i was like why did i even waste money trying to make something new because at the end of the day even though i have that dress i would have saved that money and used it to do something else now as regards makeup please i understand the fact that there are a lot of people that are not really good in makeup but at least me i try when it comes to makeup so i actually got rates for from a makeup artist but i ended up not hiring her service rather i watched a ton of youtube videos i watched a video from jackie i know i watched the video from makeup makeup by shayla and then there is this white guy that does makeup if i can find his name i'm going to put it up if I, I, I can't remember his name oh my god i watched three videos from these people and i mixed a bunch of techniques and i got my final my makeup that day was flawless like one thing i would say that helped was i got semi-permanent lashes so i did not have to worry fixing on strip lashes so i would say that helped a ton all i had to think about was the base of my makeup and um, my eyeshadow and the lip the lip the lip was really important to me as well so i just took techniques from these three different people and i did my makeup myself and it came out great guys the only money i would say i spent for that birthday shoot was the money paid for obviously my photographs and the money i spent on that dress that i did not even use again you see i didn't even use it again i didn't use the dress i didn't post any of the pictures from that dress because it just did not give okay so yes um imagine if you had a stylist imagine if you rented dresses imagine if you had a makeup artist like that 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 was professional and oh i must not forget the energy came from me because if you do not know i used to be a model so um yeah it came out really really nice and i'm so glad that it did so far these are my favorite pictures ever like hands down um and <clears throat> I bought myself a gift <clears throat> for my birthday. The phone I am using to film this video 
was my birthday gift it is a techno camon 20 and uh yeah what else happened on that day oh i didn't do any party on that day uh like during the day i just had my friends gather for karaoke in the evening i'm sure you must have watched that vlog so yeah thank you so much for watching see uh, diy is really important <laughs> DIY is really important. Styling is really important. If you are having problems with your style, I would advise you to watch a ton of videos where people, um, like not videos per se, like movies, um, follow some influencers to see how they mix and match stuff. That's actually one of my favorite things to do on Instagram. And then go on Google and just check styles. Like you can put a thing like African styles, South African styles, you know, 80s styles, and then you just start to look within your closet to see what would fit. Glad that my pictures came out really, really nice. And I hope yours come out nice as well. If any of these tips helped you, please let me know. Before my tea get cold, let me have breakfast. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.